volunteer at Rescue Village for a little over a year. I've been volunteering, oh, probably 10 years or so. Been volunteering here at Rescue Village for about three years. Well, I've been volunteering at Rescue Village for between seven and eight years. I started when I retired from teaching in 2002. I've been volunteering at Rescue Village for about three months with the cats and about six months with the dogs. We have about 450 volunteers here at Rescue Village and about um, 125 to 150 of those work in the shelter each week. The volunteers here we could not, we couldn't do what we do without them because there's so many animals here and there's such a small core of staff that volunteers make just a huge difference. We couldn't possibly give all the animals here the attention that they need if we didn't have such a huge amount of really dedicated volunteers. I act as a liaison for the volunteers and the staff. Um, I help provide training and try to match people with the uh, volunteer job that would um, best suit what their abilities and interests are. There's a therapeutic aspect to it and I'm just an animal lover and I've rescued four cats and I want to be a dog trainer. Oh, I started volunteering because I wanted to give back a little bit and I had time on my hands and I love dogs and animals and I wanted to come in and uh, get good exercise and fresh air. And so I had time on my hands and I love animals and um, I just thought I'd put some use to my free time for now because I'm in the process of trying to find a job like a lot of people and I enjoy being with cats and dogs. The qualities that we look for in volunteers are probably what you would guess. It's very helpful if they like animals, um, but we really need people who um, are selfless and are here to uh, be of assistance to us regardless of, of what their uh, personal interests are. People who are uh, willing to make a commitment and stick with it, whether that's working a weekly two-hour shift or if it's um, being at meetings, uh, planning for events that are far into the future. On a daily basis, the volunteers help us by being our eyes and our ears. They know the animals really well. They know if from week to week an animal is not acting how they're used to, so they'll always notify us that they think that something's you know, just not right. For me, it's just very rewarding because the dogs get so much out of being walked three times a day by volunteers and it makes them more adoptable, you know, the more contact they have with people. You're appreciated. Uh, the dogs, of course, need the love and affection and attention. And I think that um, the important thing in life is giving something to, to someone, to some cause that you're passionate about. That's, that's what gives meaning to our existence. They're animal lovers. <laughs> I would encourage them to come to a, their local humane shelter and, and volunteer with the animals because it makes their sojourn at the shelter so much better for them and it makes them more adoptable in the long run. So it's, it's a great thing to do and it's fun.